Hi friends, in my last session I have showed how to create uh, web services using Spring Web Flux. One, one way is using REST controller, the second method is using uh, functional programming by creating handler and uh, router functions. In this session I am going to show how to create uh, web client to connect to the uh, servers which are created in using uh, Spring Web Flux. So now I am going to create one client application. So I am go going to create new Spring Starter project. New Spring Starter project. Uh, I am going to name it as Spring Web Flux client. Package is uh, com.example.demo.client. Uh, I need to add my Spring Web Webflux dependency, so I'm going to add that Reactive Spring Reactive Web, and we have no need to use any database because uh, we are only client application. I want to add Dev Tools, uh, Spring Boot Dev Tools. Whenever I make changes, I want my server to pick, so I'm adding that dependency, and I'll finish. So if we go to pom.xml we have our st uh, Spring Boot Starter Webplex dependency and uh, DevTools dependency. And it, it automatically creates our main application, the Spring Boot application. So now I am going to write uh, code to connect to the one of my uh, service which I have already created. So I'm going to use my employee service. So I need to use the same model to decode the uh, response. So I'm going to copy it from my previous service copy and I'm going to create model package dot model. So uh, now it is not a document, it's a normal model. So I'm going to remove that annotation. Similarly, ID. And I'll save that. So I have an employee model to decode my service response. Now I'm going to create my uh, code to connect to client. So I'm just making it as one more REST service so that it will be easy. In the Inside that REST service, I'll be calling those calls to get the actual details. So I'm going to create one more package rest. Rest. So I'll delete this. I'll create a class naming it as uh, Spring Webplex Client. And it's a REST controller. Mm -hmm. It's a REST class, so I need to add at the rate REST controller. I am giving my mapping at uh, top level, so request mapping. Client. So now I am going to create uh, one get endpoint to retrieve all the employees which are already available in my database. So to connect to the server, we need to use web client. So I'm going to create web client. So web client uh, has an instance method create. We can create uh, without passing any URL inside that. That uh, I'm calling. 
dot create we have two two flavors of create method one takes the base url other one is uh, without the base url so if we want to pass the base url we have to use the string base url uh, if i don't want to pass that while creating the instance i can go with the create method and when i'm calling each service i have to give the full path so instead of that i'll i'll go with the uh, base one my base service is running on http colon slash slash localhost 8080 host colon 8080 so this is my base url so now i'm going to create one uh, get mapping to retrieve all my employee objects public it's a list of objects so it should be flux flux employee get employees I need to add dependency for flux and employee import employee model similarly flux I need to add reactor core publisher so now I have to return my list of employees web client pro provides us two flavors one is react uh, retrieve method other one is uh, exchange method with retrieve method we will be getting the response uh, directly for exchange method we will be getting client response through which we have to process the response so now I am going to use retrieve method in this so first I am adding the get mapping because it's a get call so I am going to use client this is my web client uh, through which uh, I am going to connect to my server we will be having all HTTP methods like get, put, post, pa patch and delete. So mine in the uh, functional programming it's a get call to retrieve employee. So I'm calling get. To provide the URI we have a method called URI. There I can give my string URI or uh, URL URI. So I'm going to give string. So it's slash employee. I can add the accept type, content type, whatever I want. So I'm going to give accept type is uh, media type JSON dot application dot JSON. So my accept type is application JSON. Now uh, I need to retrieve my response. So uh, as I informed, we have two methods. One is ex exchange; it gives the client response. Uh, currently, I'm going to use uh, retrieve method. It gives me the response sec. So we have to use uh, to con after retrieving the response, we have to either use body me ex methods or two entity method to convert the res response entity to the our uh, model. So I'm using body to flux because I'm expecting flux object, and the element the response type is employee. So it will decode to employee type. I will add log message to differentiate the log. This is using retrieve, retrieve employees. So I'm, I'll save this. So we have to use in the client, we have to, whether if it is a get, end point we have to use get method after that to, to pass the URI we have to use URI method and uh, if you want the what type of data if you want to accept we can use media type after that we have to use retrieve or exchange to retrieve the data and to convert the data to the expected uh, format I have to use either body or mo uh, to entity method so here I have used body to flux and to log in the console I'm just adding log uh, already my application uh, spring web, web flux pro functional programming is running on 8080 so i need to change port for this application so i'm going to my application dot properties i'm adding server port 
so I'm giving it as 8085 I'll save and now I'll start my application first I'll start the functional programming So the application is started it is running in on 8080 now i'll start my client code could not lead uh, i'll start it from here sir And my server is started it is running on 8080 so I'll go to postman and hit the endpoint so local host colon 8085 slash client so I have retrieved four elements so here if I come we can see the logs uh, first on subscribe call we are doing on subscribe after that uh, request is unbound so we are calling all the elements which are there we want to retrieve so after that we have four uh, values so it was giving four honest calls and then we are getting on complete so now i'll show how to retrieve using exchange i'll just copy this and i'll change the code here I'll give exchange get employees by exchange method so here instead of retrieve I'll go with exchange in exchange I'll be having entire client response so what I'm doing I'm going with the flat map here I'm getting flux so I'm going with flat map many So I'm using r dot body to flux. So body to flux. Our type is employee type. And I'm adding log message. This is uh, by exchange. exchange so I'll save this so as we have used dev tools dependency spring boot dev tools it restarted automatically now I'll go and hit this endpoint so we are able to retrieve the four uh, employee objects so both the both are the same uh, exchange has more control than retrieve method and now I'm going to show retrieve employee by employee ID so it is of uh, type uh, mono because we are going to retrieve one employee object so I'm going to give it as mono mono employee get employee by ID I'm expecting path variable so I have to add that path variable of type ID so it's a string ID I need to add dependency for mono at the right get mapping and here it takes path variable so slash id return i have to use client here also it is get method so it's a get call so get dot uri in this uri it is employee slash employee slash id 
slash id this is a path variable so i need to pass this value so here it is id if you have more than one variable we can pass comma comma it's a, a var args you can pass any number of arguments i'm giving accept type is uh, application dot json I'm using retrieve method here and mine is body to mono employee type dot class dot log is by id employee by id and we'll save So now based on the ID it is going to retrieve employee. So I am coming to postman. Server so started. Yes. So I will select some of the ID and I so we should retrieve Sita details. So, sorry. Control C. So I got some exception. Yeah, the endpoint is not available. Yeah. See now I'm able to retrieve Sita details. Now I'll show how to insert the record into database. So it's a post mapping. Uh, it returns uh, mono, so I'm using mono employee. create employee create employee and we need to take uh, employee details from request body so I need to add that annotation request body it's employee type and I'm giving it a CMP So here, uh, the client method has to use the post because it's a post call post, and URI is uh, slash employee. Employee, and accept type is uh, application dot JSON. Now I have to pass my body. So we have uh, body methods. One takes body inserter. We have used this body inserter in my previous session. Uh, we have body inserters dot uh, from object. You can directly pass the actual object. One way that way we can use. We can use with publisher. Publisher can be either mon or flux and the employee type. And third one parameter. Instead of that we can use sync body. In the sync body, it directly takes the actual uh, employee object itself. So I'll show the uh, with body inserter and then with sync body. First, I'll show with body inserter dot body. I'm using body inserters. From object and I'm passing employee. When you are using functional programming, uh, uh, when you retrieve body from the server request, we will directly get uh, flux or mono object. That time we can use the other flavor with publisher type. Because we have actual employee object, it is better we can go with body inserters or sync body. So dot uh, retrieve dot log. This is insert using body method so 
sorry i have to retrieve my response body to mono and type is employee type so i'll save this now i'll insert one record so i'll go to postman i'll copy this similar so our c is post endpoint is slash client the type is application.json instead of sita i am using raju age 21 salary uh, 30,000 and here i want to give id also i am giving three one two three four five so I'll click sign so the in record is inserted if I go to my get call I should be able to see this uh, thing localhost colon 8085 slash client now we should retrieve five records yeah our in record is inserted I'll show one more using sync body so I'll just copy this I'll put underscore sync slash sync because we have two post mapping and here instead of body inserters I'll add sync body and sync body directly takes employee object so I'm giving employee I'll save this oh, sorry retrieve is closed missed so retrieve We'll come to postman and we'll hit we'll insert one more record i'll insert raj age 25 23 salary 35 this time i'm not passing id so mongodb will create a unique id so the it's created a unique id for us if you go to get call we should be able to see that raj record yes we are able to retrieve raj i'll come to my id so only difference is if you are using body we have to uh, use body inserters if in, you are using sync body we can directly pass the employee object so now i'll show how to go do uh, update the employee object so it's a put mapping update employee record returns one object so it's mono mono employee update employee so return client dot this is a put method so put dot uri uri is update employee takes id as well as body so i need to add that so request body employee emp and path variable path variable uh, id So it's a string ID, so string ID. And here also I need to pass ID slash colon I, slash ID. I'll save this. So the URI function is slash employee slash ID. So slash employee slash path variable ID. I need to pass ID here. And accept type is application json and here i am directly using sync body method i am passing body that is employee so employee and then i am calling retrieve method to retrieve my 
output. So I'm using body to mono its employee type and I'm going to log it as update employee update employee I'll put EMP I'll save this so server is restarted I'll come to postman so I'll update particular record so I'll update Raj record so Raj ID is uh, this one so I'll copy this slash ID and I'm changing his age to 35 salary to 2 lakh 35 thousand click send so it's saying we are using request method post not supported We are using post here, not put. So I'll change it. I'll hit again. So now it is updated. If I go to my get call, I should see Raj age is 35 and salary is 2,35,000. So let me hit so that it is updated. So now I'll go to add method to delete a particular employee by ID. So it's a delete employee. So it's a delete mapping and it takes id argument so slash id delete it is written white type so it's mono white public mono white delete employee So it takes the path variable id string id so i'll just copy this till here I need to add import for void class so it's a delete method not put so I'll change it to delete and dot retrieve and body to mono of type void void class dot class here be small it should be capital void class and log delete employee and I'll save this so I'll try to delete the employee of Raj itself so I'll go to delete I'll remove this body so just so we got 200 ok and if you see the logs we will get all these unsubscribe and request to unborn and uh, there is no element data so we directly got uncomplete that's why it returns void so now I will hit get call and see whether the record is deleted or not see now Raj record is deleted uh, thank you friends if you like my uh, video, please subscribe it.